secret agent K-7 returns. Number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries, on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. Here is K-7. The fact that food rearmament programs are now of as great importance as military, naval, and air defense plans in several of the world's great nations may be surprising to many of my listeners. Men and munitions are important. But without foodstuffs, war cannot be waged. Nations have been starved out before, and it will happen again. At least three of the great world powers face possible food shortages and are attempting to build surplus supplies. Spies engaged to sabotage these supplies have been active. These are the facts behind the story which John Holbrook introduces. Thank you, K-7. To begin our story today, we take you to a small restaurant where Special Agent Z and the young newspaper woman who assists him, Patricia Norwood, have just finished dinner. They're talking. Well, Pat, it looks as if we've got a few days' breathing spell. I'm glad of it. Mm, So am I, Z. Hey, what are you reading? Oh, uh, three newspaper clippings. And unless I'm mistaken, there's a story behind them. Uh, Here. No, no, you keep them, Pat. If you think you see a newspaper story, go after it, but count me out. I've got some laboratory work that I've been putting off for six weeks. Now I'm going to get it done. But these need investigating, and I'd like to do it while we're in this country. Well, you look into whatever it is yourself, Pat. If it looks important to you, I'll go over it later. All right, I will, Z. And I'm going to start right now. That night, Pat went to the scene of three recent fires. She didn't attempt any investigation, but seemed interested only in the size of the buildings that had burned and the completeness of the destruction. The next morning, she was ushered into the office of the defense minister. Come in, Miss Norwood. I'm very glad to give you a few minutes. Uh, Thank you. I'll come directly to the point. As you may know, before I became the assistant of Agent Z... I was a newspaper woman. Yes, I seem to remember that. I still send in a few stories when I have time. I have three clippings here in my bag. Uh, Here, look at them. Very well. Warehouse burns. Oh, yes, I remember reading this. And these other two clippings cover other warehouse fires. Uh, Look here, Miss Norwood. What are you getting at? The similarity of these three fires interests me. All started at about midnight, while the watchmen were eating. All of the buildings burned were food warehouses. I believe it's sabotage. Pat secured the names of the watchmen who had been on duty at the three burned buildings. Then she asked for a pass that would permit her to visit a fourth large warehouse at night. She arrived at the building early in the evening. Yes, miss. What can I do for you? I'm writing a newspaper story on food storage. I want a story about the men who guard these buildings at night. My pass is good for a night visit. Mm. Permission to ask questions and visit. Yes, it seems all right. 
It's the saucy of the geese is where I stay between my hourly rounds. Come in. <laughs> Not much happens around here. <laughs> you must get awfully lonesome during the night. Do you have any visitors? No, hardly ever. I take an hour off and stay here in my room between midnight and one. Sometimes my wife brings me some hot food. And... You like that? <laughs> yes. But I don't see many others. Lately, though, a man has been stopping by. He came here one night about uh, a week ago. He said his father used to be a watchman. He's been visiting around different places in this neighborhood, asking if any of us remember him. Nice man. Been stopping in about uh, 12 o'clock every night lately. That's interesting. Yeah, I like to see him. <laughs> Last night, he stood here in my doorway for me while I went down to block for some hot coffee. <laughs> of course, I shouldn't let him do that. But there's no harm. He comes about midnight, you say? Mm-hmm. I think I'll come back then. Huh? If his father used to be a night watchman, I might be able to use it in my story. Perhaps someone might read it who knew of him. Well, that would be fine. <laughs> He'd like it. I'll tell you what you do. Don't say a word. Uh. I'll come back tonight at midnight, and we'll tell your friend then. It'll be a surprise for him. See you at midnight. <laughs> Pat was interested in the fact that a strange man had stayed on duty at the gate while the watchman went to a restaurant. She had three hours before midnight. During that time, she located and talked with the three watchmen whose warehouses had burned. You say you used to have a visitor about midnight? Yes. Nice boy, too. His father used to be a night watchman. She located the second watchman in a pub. Mm, I remember him. He used to stop and see me often. Had a scar on his left cheek. It was nearly 11.30 before she found the third man. He came around every night until the fire. Looking for his father, he said. It was a little after midnight when Pat got back to the dark warehouse district. She found the store open on her way and made a telephone call. Hello? Hello, Z. This is Pat. I've got the evidence I wanted. Three food warehouses have been burned. I'm on my way to another warehouse now. When I arrive, I expect to meet the man who's been setting the fires. He may be a spy. I want you to meet me there. I need you. A few minutes later, Pat arrived at the warehouse. Agent Z was on his way. She found the watchman's gate open, but there was no one around. Hello? Hello? Anyone around? That's funny. There's no one here. Wait. There's a light moving in the warehouse. I'm going to find out who's in there. It's so dark in here, I can't see. Don't see the light now, either. If I only... Ow! Who are you? I, I ran into you in the dark. I, I found your gate open. Don't put the light right in my eyes. Hey, what are you doing in here? You're... You're not the watchman. And you've got a scar on your left cheek. Put up your hands. I've got you covered. What is it you want? I want to ask you some questions. I've just talked to the watchman of the three warehouses that burned recently. What has that to do with me? You were at each of these warehouses before the fires. All the watchmen described you. I think you've got some questions to answer. <laughs> you will never ask them. Oh, what... right. Yeah, you forgot to take it from me. <laughs> you want to know about warehouse fires, eh? Stay in here. It won't be dark in here long. <laughs> <laughs> A minute later, a car pulled up at the watchman's gate, and Agent Z stepped out. The gate was closed. Oh, no one around. This must be the watchman's gate. Pat said she was on her way here. Yes, that's you, boy. I wondered where you... I'm looking for Miss Patricia Norwood. You mean 
That newspaper woman? She said she was coming back, but I haven't seen her. Has anyone else been around? Say, uh... Say, who are you? I'm Special Agent Z. Answer my question. Uh, yes, there, there was a man here, but... Uh, oh, here he comes now. Why, he's been in the warehouse. Well, don't tell him I'm here. I'll stand back in the shadows. Ask him where he's been. Hey, so you are back. Did you get your coffee? Y- yes. Where, uh... Where have you been? Eh? Yeah? What is the matter with you? I thought I heard something in the warehouse, and I went to investigate. Well, as long as you've got your coffee, I will be on my way. You shouldn't have gone away and left the gate open. Well, no harm done. See you tomorrow night. Stand right where you are, Mario Sorrell. Who are you? You know this man's name? I know him very well. He's an international spy and crook. Sorrell, take a good look at me. Even that half-crazed Marine of yours should remember. I'm Special Agent Z. You! What does that mean? It's the fire alarm. Look, the warehouse. It's all the fire inside. This is your work, Sorrell. Turn around. No, you don't. I'm uh... sorry I had to shoot you. It's only a leg wound. At least now you won't get away. Watchman, hold his arms. I'll put these handcuffs on him. I've got to run to the corner and turn in another fire alarm. All right, go ahead. What's that? Someone in there pounding. Yeah, the door's locked. And that fire is gaining fast. Hello, hello in there. Can you hear me? Please, help. It's Pat. Pat, I'm coming. Stand away from the door. I'm going to shoot the lock. Pat, Pat, where are you? We've got to get out of here, Pat. The roof will cave in. Come on. Agent Z and Patricia barely escaped with their lives. The crashing of the warehouse wall caught the spy, Mario Sorrell, beneath it. He was a victim of the very fire he started. Later, when the ruins cooled, Z examined them carefully. He found pieces of the fire bomb, enough to trace their manufacturer to another country, an enemy nation. Listen for my next story. This is K7 speaking.